All right, we finished the Linux course and the Bash scripting course from the Network Chuck YouTube channel, and I will not dive into these topics much more because uh, this is not what we do. Uh, because we are like more or less likely a backend developer, and that's why we need to focus on API and building project, etc. I just learned the basics of Linux and Bash scripting, and that's super cool. Now uh, I just want to share some uh, hack about Linux, like that enables us you to typing fast right so let's just open up our terminals uh, like our favorite place to live <laughs> so uh, let's start our first hack and this is the CD commands so let's say we in the root directory and we just want to go to home and our current user directory like we don't need to say home and Fati etc instead like go back to root directory back and instead we just put cd and that's it hit enter boom we're just in the home, home user directory automatically and which by the way this tilde symbol just indicates this okay if if you, if you just don't believe me just type pwd which will print the working directory that's it okay uh let's say we just go to uh, a lot of directory like that uh like lock projects okay let's go to controllers folder and yeah like we just goes a lot right and i just want to go back one step like instead of just uh turning this beginning of this directory i can just type cd that that and it will just take me to the back boom i just go back one step and let's just go back to controllers and now i just want to go back to uh, two step so i would just say dot dot forward slash dot dot again so that means one step and two step boom that's it we're in the my works directory so let's just uh go to this block which by the way if you just want to go to back block project and controllers you don't have to type these manually there's a command for that and this is cd hyphen that's it like it just watch this boom like just boom 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 <laughs> so what this does is basically like let me just show you real quick something old uh pwd what is that old pwd is like the old pwd right now we're in this mic works blog project controls but before that we're in this directory and just echo this directory so this is a environment variable that keeps the uh old pwd that we were before like one step back right understand i hope uh <laughs> so like for example if i just exit and like, exit and open the terminal again and if i just execute the same command just watch this nothing right and let's just do something like this yeah there's nothing here because there's no uh old wd right old pwd right now because we didn't go to any uh before directory i don't know my english is a little bit broken right now i don't know why but anyway <laughs> um yeah that's basically keeps the old pwd so i just want to go to uh, my works block project controllers boom and dot dot slash dot dot slash slash dot dot so it will just take me back three steps so boom we just comes three step back and just let's say i just want to go to this directory back I, instead of just typing manually i'll just type this because just watch this echo always watch and alt pwd this variable just keeping this uh variable inside of it so if i just execute this cd it'll just get the value from this variable and put it on me this directory that's it magic right perfect that's all uh we've got here and let's uh go to the ls command so in ls command we just type ls uh, let's just go to the home directory we just ls right and instead of just typing something like this let's just go to yeah my works and block project so ls it will just show me all the uh, contents like all the files if i just ls hyphen l 
I'll just show me all this stuff in more detail and in, in the vertically, right? And if I just type ls all like a and l, it'll just show me all the uh, hidden files. Start with the dots hidden files. And there's another option that uh, make our code much simpler. LL, like it just does the same thing, and like it's actually an alias. Like what is an alias? Let's go to the home directory and uh, go to the dot uh, bash rc file and scroll down a bit until you see the alias section. Yes, uh, and here. What was that? Yeah, some more ls alias. So here I can just basically say alias, like as you can see here. Like, come on, man. Yes. Uh, like scroll down a little bit again, and here. Like the system just creates some alias automatically, and it's ll is equal to ls l and f. Like it just defines this command to a new variable, which is kind of cool. So we can just do this kind of same thing like let's say hey man and it will equal to cat cat command like cat command right and let's just save it and enter the save so now uh, let's just go to my works my works block projects and let's see what we got here yeah we got package.json so as a normally we can just cats.package.json right perfect and now we got hey man variable which does the same job with the cats and let's just try the json but command not found why because in order to uh save it to the system we need to first log out and log in first yeah exit and open up the terminal again and like basically i will just do the same thing uh we can just go here because like all pwd did not set yet yeah, because we didn't set anything in this session. So I'll just go to my works manually, uh, block projects, and yeah. And let's just use the hey man. Hey man, uh, package that's JSON. Look at this. Boom. We just does the same job with the cat because we just assign this cat command to this hey man variable. You can just call it whatever you want, by the way. Uh, yeah, pretty much it. And let's talk about the shortcuts a little bit. So let's just go to home back home directory again. And like let's say I just type in something like that as a random. And like I just want to delete this uh, line. What what do I do? Control U. Just cut this. Not delete it. It just cut this from here. And which by the way, it's actually. Uh, not deleting the line. It's actually delete everything before my cursor. So if the, uh, just I put my cursor here and uh, just enter like click Control U, not click, press Control U. It'll just delete the whole thing before my cursor. Perfect. And the Control Y. It just actually paste what we cut. Paste, 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 paste. That's it, right? It's not Control Z. It's just pasting, right? Uh, like control V or something, yeah. So the other thing is we just type, 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 and we just want to go to the in front of everything, like control A or home, the home key on your keyboard. And if you just want to go to the end, you can just click end or you can just uh, press control E, perfect, which is opposite of control A, perfect. And we got a lot of, like, we got a few shortcuts as well. Uh, control key, what was that? Delete after the cursor. Perfect, like, which is opposite of the control U. So I will just come here and I just want to delete the right side, right? Control K. Boom, it's gone. It's not deleted again, it's just pay, uh, cutting it. And I can just use control Y to paste it back. Paste it back, paste it back. Perfect, right? And like again, we just typing something randomly, and I just want to delete this uh, word, particular word. I will just press Alt and backspace. Boom! It's just gone. Boom! 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 Right? Perfect. And again, it's just not deleting it. It's just uh, pasting it. Like delete, paste. Yeah, it's just not deleting. There is no deleting. It's just cutting. And then you can just paste it using Control Y. 
All right, and the other thing is like let's say you just type some commands like I don't know uh, cat and something like this. I just want to don't think about it right now, and you just want to open this in a text editor and just edit it and then save it and uh, execute it automatically. What do we? What do you do? Uh, like Control X and E. Control X and E. Yes, we just open it in uh, Nano and let's say cat. I don't know something like this. And Y. Yeah, it's just cat commands. Just anyway, yeah, perfect. Uh, and the last thing, yeah, and the last thing, it's about the sudo command. So let's say you forgot to put the sudo command in front of something that requires the sudo command. Uh, so let's say apt update, which is the easiest one. So this is, requires a sudo command or you need to be logged in as root. So in this case, both of them are false. We're not logged in as root and we don't put the sudo in front of this command. So if I just hit enter, it'll say uh, like permission denied. Perfect. Now, after I see that, I know what to do. I can just type sudo apt update, but it's not that. We're an IT person and we're lazy. So what do we do is sudo explanation point, explanation point twice. And it'll just uh, put the sudo commands uh, to the command that we typed previously exactly and hit enter and it just wants me to password that means it just understand it and after my after I put my password it'll just update the system not a system the repository perfect that's just it you don't need to type whole command and put the sudo uh, after the thing you just need to say sudo that that like this one just it just execute the previous command with the sudo that's basically whole thing and of course uh, I think you know this but I will just show you again anyway uh, let's say just you just go to my works or any directory you want and you just don't want to type everything one by one just click or press tap boom just boom and like in this directory like let's say you don't know what's there just type uh, like press tap twice like it, it shows all this stuff uh, in this directory and the same thing for command as well like for example you just type su you just want to say sudo but you don't know exactly how to type it just type one time tap and if it's not autocomplete that means there's a lot of uh, option start with su or there's no such a command that start with su just type uh, press twice press tap twice to see that and boom uh, yeah there's su, sudo, sudo edit etc and you can see them using tap pretty much it guys and that's it we're uh, ending our Linux course like that and I just want to say big thank you big thanks to the network check really he's awesome and that's it for the Linux and bash scripting course I'll catch you in the next time. Bye-bye.